Happy parties are here, and uh, it's time for a song about Gene Vincent, one of the greatest rockabilly singers and uh, songwriters. He, uh, just like Elvis, he came from a poor kind of country background. He um, made it big uh, because of his stage act, which was uh, remarkable. Uh, he usually looked as if he was about to have a nervous breakdown or an epileptic seizure with eyes staring at the ceiling. Uh, but he also had a lot of fun on stage, and a great guitarist, Cliff Gallup, nicknamed Galloping Cliff, a very innovative um, guitar runs and what have you. And, um, and he got into a lot of trouble. Uh, first he uh, smashed his leg in a motorcycle accident, which left him with a limp for the rest of his life. Um, and then he got into trouble with local authorities because he had a funny habit of, of storing wine bottles. He was partially of French descent, um, storing wine bottles inside his amplifiers. And uh, so the police suspected him of, of trying to sell liquor on stage or something. Um, the tax man was after him because he made a lot of money. Uh, and uh, the CIA, because he always went around saying, uh, telling stories like Big Brother is watching you, uh, the president has no power at all, it's the CIA that's running this country, and stuff like that. So um, he, uh, he got together with um, one representative from the CIA, the tax man. And uh, his manager, Sheriff Tex, who claimed he'd written his greatest hit, Bebop and Luda. Uh, he thought, well, maybe I can bribe him with uh, three incredibly expensive bottles of wine uh, said to belong to three mistresses entertained by Emperor Napoleon. So the men got together and uh, put these three bottles on the table. And, uh, he opened the first one, uncorked it, and uh, drank it straight off, saying, this one's for Jean. And the man kind of smirked, so <laughs> I thought, well, this is uh, a funny kind of offer. And uh, Jean went on to drink the second bottle straight off, saying, this one's for Vincent. And the man kind of counting, or Jean Vincent the stage name. The third bottle we will share among the three of us. But then Jean drank the third bottle saying, and this one's for my leg that's been giving me so much pain over the past few years. That was the end of Jean Vincent's career in the United States. He uh, left the country for England mainly and played lots of gigs in France as well where he was even more popular. Here's my ode to him to cut a long story short. Uh, Bebop Lula Blues. <laughs> Oh, 
flashing feet He was the one who made those lyrics dance Lacunas do to rain our teen romance We buffalo Long with Jean Vincent Roving eyes of deliquous Riva Palula, those black leather pants Kept us jiving to clips lightning hands But now it's time to say farewell you're one of a kind, nobody is swell As up to you, Virginia Grandmaster You left us soon, the devil's laid so much faster Ugly like a hell in the rainbow jeans You're the leader of the love tauntings Jean Vincent, greatest rock of Billy Genius this world has seen and I don't mean maybe Your song sure did light up the sky May grey clouds roll, oh my, oh my Bye bye, Vincent Who kept Cupid eternal adolescent that was so stupid to brand you a delinquent, but you refused to stoop. It made you ever vessel. So let's drink a toast to the great Jean Vincent. Ah, ah, oh yeah, ah, ah. God bless you, Jean Vincent, and the blue caps, wherever you may be. So long.